M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. TID Radio have made an announcement that you can now update the memory channels on your radios, not just using Bluetooth and downloading the app, but via a browser. Now, before we could do this with our Windows browser, but we couldn't connect it via Bluetooth. They've updated this, and I've just done it now with my TID Radio H3 and my H8. But if you've got the adapter that you can see here, just on the right hand side, and they're only about 15 pound, you can add it to most radios. And I'm gonna test it on my Bofeng soon, but let me just show you what I just did. So if you look here on the main software, at the top, we click where it says Bluetooth. Now it's already found my radio. And what I'll do, I'll turn on another radio. I'll just push the Bluetooth button. You can see it on the on the bottom left there so that the Bluetooth appears and just see if it does detect yes it is now detecting that other radio and I'm going to also test it with my with my my little adapter that you can see I'll just show you it there excellent little device I'll just leave it there plonked on the down there for now let's do the H3 first which is really my personal favorite of the H3 range, the little small dinky one there that you can see. So to turn on the Bluetooth on this device, you just press here the blue button, just here, nice and easy. On the TRD Radio H8, you press the BL button. So I'm actually gonna turn that off because we only wanna do one at a time. Then we're gonna go connect here at the top and it is already paired. So you would just normally press that and click pair and you get the the logo turns blue from a sort of whitey gray color. Then you need to select your the radio that you're actually using. So let's find it. And remember, when you log into your account, and you do, you know, you should create an account for this because it's going to remember everything you do. These are all my previous uploads, downloads, etc. You can just go to model list, choose the one that you're on. We're on the TID H3, so let's find that. H3, now there is a, a variety of H3 types because you've got HAM and GMRS. We're just gonna choose that one for now. Is it there? And then we're gonna click the box here on the left, tick it, click update just here in green. And when it loads, we get some new selections at the bottom here, just let it load. And one along the bottom here, We've got read, write, import, export. So you can actually export and also save, of course. So let's just start off by reading our radio and keep an eye on the TRD H3 on the right-hand side, bottom right. And we're gonna select, so we click read here, then we click read. And you'll see that the radio is now reading. And it's that straightforward. I think this is really good, I'll tell you why. Because you could dig out your iPad and as long as you've got a browser, it's gonna work. And of course, Hamtech, I'm gonna test that. I've got an iPad upstairs. I've got my Mac upstairs, my Mac PC. We're gonna test that out. There's no reason why it wouldn't work because it's using your browser. Now this is currently, I think many items that I use have, have gone down this road of using a browser rather than you having to download things. It saves memory on your PC and it's just convenient. Even my, my um, when I update my Quashang radios, there's I use Exuma and he uses a browser. So okay, let's just disconnect that Bluetooth. Okay, disconnect it. Menu. Just by pressing the blue button. Now I love the little TID because it, it, this one does have air band and that's what I like about it. Maybe the newer Confirm. models. Let's just come out a minute. Menu. We just have to come out of our Channel menu. Mode. Menu. We are going to get there. Yeah, you have to hold down the, you have to hold the button down and the little logo goes from here where it's Bluetooth. And then we're just gonna press Bluetooth on the HD8, it's a larger radio. That one doesn't have air band, still very nice. Quite bright in there, let's see if I can dim it down a bit. Looks a bit nicer. So let's do a search, so we're gonna go Bluetooth. We're gonna see if we can find, there it is there. Now it's already paired one. 
Now, this is the first time I've done this radio. We're going to go to HD8 ham. Actually, I think we've got the unlock one, like so. Click here. Ah, it doesn't find it. Let's try the other one. Ham. There, yeah, it is finding it now. Click here, and then we're going to go update. It loads once it's loaded and then what we're going to do after that is try our both because it doesn't have to be a TID radio. TID uh, you will see on the mode list in a second now. This item and this is the one I recommend uh, will read many radios so we're just going to go read and then read. Oh it's failing so that's okay. You still know the process of doing it. I've got Bluetooth on possibly it's a different radio I'm still curious to you know that will that does work after me messing around but I'm gonna plug it into the both one and we're using this little device here okay we'll turn it on right get a blue light there and let's try it so we're gonna go Bluetooth I'm going to turn the other two off just so we don't confuse things. Then we'll look for the, it does say pair there. I'm going to go pair. I think I'm confusing myself trying to do too many items in one go, but you can see how to use it now. So it's still not compared. Right. Okay. Ignore that. Let's hit here again. Hit that. Pair. All right, it's gone blue, and now it's a UV5R. So we go mode list on the left. Now look at all these different radios. Okay. Bofeng, TOD radio, TOD here, Tenway, TalkPod, Quasheng. We will try the Quasheng, and loads more. But first of all, let's try the Bofeng UV5R. It says old firmware, I don't know. I'm just gonna try this one here. I'm gonna click update. Tick one of these, update, and I'm hoping that this one's going to work. And you can see the little bow fung there. Let's hit read and then read. I need to change the board rate. I don't know. I'm just going to click confirm. Yeah, so it looks like I'm going to have to go in and start playing around with the settings. But I don't want to do that now, not during this video. And the last one I'm going to do is the Bofeng. Even if, even if it doesn't work, remember, I've only been tinkering for 10 minutes with this. So there's a little Quashang. Just there. Let's give that one a go. Everything is live. Remember, this is my diary of me learning. I'm not actually teaching, I'm just doing it myself, playing around and hoping that you guys and people, uh, you know, men and ladies, um, get something from this. So we'll go mode list again. This time we're going to go down to Kushang. UVK5 model. Okay, there's one there. That'll do. We're going to go update. It could be that we should have read from it first rather than selecting an old radio. So we're just going to try it anyway, so. wonder why it's not giving me the option to read model name. Ah, it's not connected, so we need to pair. Yep, like so, pair. It says paired. We're going to go read, is it on? It's not letting me do it. Try again, read, read, confirm. So it looks like really we got, we've got to go in there and start changing the settings in the board rate to read those the radios that are not TID radio. But I think that's enough for a video. I think it's made it really obvious uh, that, you know, once you've got your settings right, you can read using your PC. You don't have to use the app. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.